Welcome to this presentation of the top new features in Medicaid for Revit, release 2014.11. One of the top new features in Medicaid for Revit is the find and replace products, a function that automatically inherits properties and parameters from the replaced products. As the products or device is replaced, existing pipe and duct connections to the system will be inherited and applied to the new product automatically, as well as the properties and parameters. Once you use the function, you may select products from the dataset or from the project and replace that specific item or similar items in the whole project or in any range you prefer. So how does this work? The Medicaid final replace function is actually very easy to use. However, there might be some options for how to use it. Let's zoom into this conference room. In this conference room, we also find two extract terminals. The airflow is 35 liter per second, but is that enough? If you look at the Properties button that is found on the Contact Sensitive tab, we can activate the Medicaid properties and get additional technical information about the air terminal. Maybe it's so that I need a smaller device than this KSO 125. I'm going to use the final replace to replace this and similar devices in my project. In this case I'm going to use the option select an area for replacing the terminals. So I'm selecting an area. On the context sensitive tab I find my final replace button, so I push the button. When I push the button, Medical starts to read in the objects found in the selected area and present that result in the final replace dialog. I also find my KSO 125 and I'm going to the dataset and I'm going to replace it with the KSO 100. When the selection is done, I simply push the apply button. After a couple of seconds, the program will present the result in the lower part of dialog. Result 1, replacement complete, no errors, no warning, two devices replaced. Click on replacement complete, then you will see that the two devices that have been replaced. If you click on one of the devices, you can also see some additional information, but a show button also appear. Click on the show button and you can also see where the this device is. You can zoom out or zoom in to get a better overview. If we close this dialog now, and we go back into our conference room, zoom into their terminals, look at the properties, we can see that the airflow is still 35 liter per second, and if we have a look at the technical properties of the device, we can see now that we have a different type of capacity for the terminal. 